Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you our kitchen DIY makeover process. So in case you're new here, we recently just bought a house and we bought this house mostly for the location and the houses in this location were quite a bit out of our price range unless we bought a fixer upper. So we went and we did everything ourselves and we did everything extremely budget friendly and I just thought it would be great to share with you guys. Maybe you are looking into moving and you're having to buy a fixer upper yourself and you just really don't know how to do it or the house really isn't your style and you're just kind of lost. So I just hope this gives you some encouragement. I know in today's time there is so much comparison you might see people moving and buying these nice brand new perfect houses and for some of us that's just not reality so i've learned i can really take any house make it my style extremely in my budget and be really happy in any home so let's get started okay so i'm going to give you a quick view of what my kitchen looks like now And then I'm going to give you a quick photo of what it looked like before. Okay, so these countertops were painted. I used the Gianni Kitchen Countertop Kit in White Diamond. And I have a clip of that. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that I only filmed part of it um, because I started doing it and I freaked out because it feels like when you're doing it like this looks awful this is not going to work what have I done but for one can of it I believe it was $80 so for $80 we completely transformed our kitchen countertops way 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 more affordable than going and buying new countertops one day we would love to replace them and get granite or some sort of real um, stone but this is what we could afford and i'm very happy with how they turned out i think we only needed to use one kit i did both of my bathrooms as well and i barely went over the one kit to do all of that Next up, we have our cabinets. These cabinets were that orange color that was really popular, actually not too long ago, but it just wasn't my style. I'm not even gonna tell you what paint we used for this because I was very unhappy with it. It was very, very thin coated and took like four coats, whereas I think if I would've went with like bare or something that was less expensive and something that I knew and trusted that it would have been much better. So stick with what you trust and what you like if you're going to be painting your cabinets. This flooring, I'm going to insert some footage of that now.
my husband did all of the flooring. It is just pill and stick. It is only a dollar, less than a dollar a square foot. And it has held up really well. One thing that you're going to want to make sure that you do is you're going to want to make sure that your floor is really clean and you're going to want to make sure that your floor is level. And there was a couple spots that kept popping up that we were concerned would um, not go down but over time it ends up settling and we ended up putting this in both of our bathrooms as well. One thing when you are going to do a fixer upper home keep in mind that your appliances can probably possibly be saved. These we were not planning on <laughs> keeping for long but now that I'm done with the kitchen I actually really think that the white looks okay. Um, they weren't in awful shape, they just needed a good cleaning, and I think we will stick with those and that saves us thousands right there. My little coffee bar right here was also the orange color, very similar to how my cabinets were. And I looked at a lot of options for um, coffee bars like this, and they were around $150 to $200, if not more than that and we ended up just spray painting this one and I think it turned out really, really cute. It looks rusticy. So instead of spending $150, we ended up spending about $12. The only thing that I splurged on was I bought these from Ikea. They were actually very inexpensive for bar stools. They were only $60 a piece. And as I was looking online, they had a lot of bar stools ranging 100 and more for just regular bar stools, so I was really happy with those. I want to talk to you about the backsplash. So my husband did the backsplash. I did not record it because he did it over Thanksgiving break and that was just family time, so I didn't get that recorded, but there is literally hundreds of YouTube videos you can watch and figure out how to do a backsplash. We bought the backsplash from Home Depot and it was like $15 a box. It took two boxes, so we did this for $30. That you can't even beat with the pill and stick stuff, but we already had the grout from our previous home, so that helped a lot. We did buy the sealant on top of the tile, so that was an extra $10. So let's just say $50 overall to cover all the backsplash, and it really just took this kitchen to a whole new level. And then I painted our walls repost gray, which is my favorite color. I've painted my whole entire previous home the same color, and I really like it. I think it gave the kitchen another just layer of personal touch and then I just went with the decor, a lot of the decor that we already had. This was a Hobby Lobby splurge, but I bought everything on sale, so that was good there. These knobs came from Amazon and they were only a dollar a knob. All right, you guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope that it encouraged you and gave you some motivation to do your own fixer-upper and maybe even spruce up the house that you're living in now, but that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, then please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I pray that God blesses you all, that you all have a great rest of your week. I will see you in my next one. Bye.